Hello, welcome to Brimwood Farm. Um, so guess what? It is raining, as always. So the British weather, this is why Brits talk about weather all the time, because it changes constantly. So this year, you might have remembered a few uh, weeks ago, I was literally saying how dry it was. We hadn't had any wet weather at all. Everything was crisping up and dying. Now we're into October. It has been non-stop rain for about two weeks. Uh, so rather than kind of sun, rain, sun, rain, sun, rain throughout the year to keep everything nice and growing, we're just having dry heat and then a deluge of water, which isn't great when you're trying to keep everything clean and tidy, um, especially when you're working with a, a small back garden because you've got a lot of livestock in a small space um, and so you've got to deal with a lot more cleaning and a lot more poop than you would if you were on a farm where you can have muck heaps and you can move stuff around. But still, it's raining. I need to get out here because I only literally have one day off. So whether it's raining or it's sunny, I need to get out and do stuff. Now today we are going to attempt to breed the rabbits again. Uh, they are now six and a half months old. Um, so I've left it another month and a half from when I bred, tried to breed them last time. So we're going to see how that goes. But first, I've got some jobs to do down in the garden. Now um, autumn is set in, I'm a lot more confident about putting some of these Brussels pits back out. Uh, these are two types of kale that I've grown just on the windowsill. Um, and I've been coming down here and really the wood lice and the um, flea beetle haven't been so much of an issue. So I'm going to plant these out so they can start to grow um, while we've still got some warm weather and we've still got some warm soil. So we're going to try Miss Tally. I think she is six and a half months old now. So she still might be, might not be ready. Um, but she's the one that's kind of showing most interest. She's above Thane. So Thane's down here. And she's up here. And she shows most interest in sniffing him and trying to get down to him. So we'll have a go. Can you smell her? smell a girl I oh, know shall I bring her so let's just grab her she unfortunately isn't quite as docile as um, Liara are you and she actually bites as well which isn't fantastic so we'll just try and get her out I may need two hands for this So that was not a successful mating because there was no drop off. So we'll just give them a few minutes. And see what happens. That's not gonna work. <gasps> Thane, what are you doing? Thank you. 
Well, uh, Tally, who is on the right there, is having none of it and she's actually started stamping her foot. So we are going to pop her back in to her hutch and we will try Liara. You can see she's running away. She doesn't want any of it. Okay, love, we'll go back and we'll get your sister out. Uh, so now we've got Liara. Obviously Thane hasn't quite figured out that that doesn't work. And she doesn't actually look as... See, she looks less receptive than I thought Tally would because she's pushed herself into a corner. She's certainly not making it easy for him to mount. There's no way he'll be able to breed her if she's up like that. <laughs> and he'll definitely also not be able to breed her like that. However, you need to remember these, these rabbits are still young. He's only, uh, he's seven months, seven and a half months, and they are six and a half. So, really, any time from now onwards, um, obviously, as I said before, where I got them from, he breeds them at five months, but every individual is different. Hello. And some of the large breeds, and these are a large breed, can take, you know, up to nine months to mature. So I'm not going to push it. I'd rather they're happy bunnies. So we will just try again another day. Well, a little frustratingly, uh, that didn't go as planned and we haven't had a proper mating, but I'm sure in six months time, I will look back at these dates and I'll be overrun with baby rabbits and I'll think, well, I just needed to wait. So I'm not getting too bothered. I am just gonna keep trying, keep waiting until they've properly matured and see how we go. And as I say, once you get them breeding, they can have a litter every 30 days and they can have 10, 12 kits per, per breeding. So. I will probably be overrun with rabbits at one point and th be thinking, blimey, why was I so worried? So we're just gonna leave them to it. We're gonna let them mature a get bit. I don't wanna force babies into the system. I don't wanna try and breed them before they're ready um, because young rabbit mums also, if they're bred too early, uh, can have very few kits and also can abandon their kits because they don't know what they're doing. So I'd rather kind of not try every day, but try every few weeks and see if we get it that way because I don't want to breed a rabbit mum for example on the first time she ever comes uh, becomes ready um, and then I run into problems later. So we'll just uh, let them do their thing, we'll try again in a few weeks and we'll see how we go. For now I will just enjoy them for being lovely little rabbits. Um, I've got a few jobs done in the garden and the heavens look like they're going to get even worse so I'm going to skip inside, have that cup of tea and do some planning for the farm. Uh, thank you very much for coming in and watching the video. If you have liked it, please consider subscribing and hit that thumbs up button too. If you are over on Facebook, please come and join us at Brimwood Farms Community Group. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go and get dry. I hope you are having a great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.